Up until recently, Sony APC was my main camera. And for the last six or seven years, everything I've done, whether it's photography or filmmaking for clients here on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, you name it, everything has been shot with these little bad boys right here. So in today's video, I thought it would be fun that we sit down together. I go over some of my all time best and favorite photos that I've shot on this little system right here. Little bit the story behind them and how I shot them and what I was thinking. And yeah, without further ado, if you could smack that like button for me because it helps me out, then I think we should just sit down and have a good time together. Okay, got the phone. So these are in no particular order. I just, you know, went through my gallery and found a few that I think look nice and that I'm pretty proud of. And yeah, let's start with, let me see, let me just open it up right here. So the first shot that we should take a look at is this shot right here. This is still to this day one of my all-time favorites. I think I got it in like 2018 and it's shot on the Sony a6300 combined with the Sony 10 to 18 millimeter, probably at around 10 millimeter. And I mean, it's just such a nice shot. This is a very classic waterfall in Iceland. If you've been to Iceland, chances are you've probably seen it called Skoarfoss. And the person on the, this little yellow coat person here, this is my girlfriend's little sister. She was visiting us in Iceland, so my girlfriend is from Sweden and it's her family too. She was coming to visit and we took her to the waterfall and she was just in Ave seeing this. So she ran up to the waterfall and luckily she was wearing this yellow coat. And I was just like, this is the sickest shot ever. So I just ran to the waterfall too with, with you know, the little camera and just starting to take as many photos as possibly can. I got soaked because the when the waterfall hits, you know, it just goes everywhere. Mist this all over the place and the camera got soaked. The camera didn't, uh, you know, didn't damage at all. I'm still thinking this is a sick shot. So definitely one of my favorites. Now, another one that I really, really like is more recent and that is this shot right here. Now here I'm with my friend Bjarni, and this is another waterfall in Iceland. And here I'm using the Sony a6400 combined with the 70 to 355 millimeter. I think this was at around 200 millimeter, something like that. And I'm pretty far away. And I framed him up close there to the waterfall and then got the shot. I mean, there's nothing more to say about it. I'm just very like happy with the shot and how it turned out. I really like how moody it is. And I think it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty sick, sick photo. Now, another one that I really much like is this one. Like me and my girlfriend, Elvira is her name, when she was pregnant with our first kid, then we went on this camper van trip in Iceland. And this is in Westfjords. And we came to this random fjord somewhere in Westfjords and there was no one there. And there was this black sand beach and with those super moody weather, Iceland almost, always, almost always have moody weathers. And she was wearing a red raincoat, super fortunate for me. And I asked her to walk. And again, this is shot on the Sony A6400 with the 10 to 18 millimeter. I really like the 10 to 18 millimeter. And I just used her steps as a leading line. And then we get this boom. Then we get this shot here. And I, I, I've always thought this shot is pretty cool and I'm very happy with it. Then another one is more recent, that is this one here. This is from 2021 and February. And this place is called Stockness. It's a very, very popular place in Iceland to take photos. Uh, lots of, you know, like if you have little interest in photography, this is just a photographer's dream. You can basically just point your camera in any direction and you're gonna get a cool shot. This was actually a little bit surprised to me that it was gonna turn out this good because I wasn't sure, I was just trying to frame up the dunes here in a way, but keeping the main focus on the uh, on the mountain there. And I just loved how everything turned out here. The black sand beach with these, you know, uh, autumn colored dunes. It wasn't autumn, but there were still, you know, the grass was yellow, so it was pretty nice. And then the mountains there are absolutely epic. And another shot is actually from the same spot, but it's this one. This I really like, the, you can see the reflection there on the mountain and it's a very simple shot. I'm pretty sure this is also in 10 to 18 millimeter and with the Sony a6400 and I had it here on a tripod. So I just put the tripod down and then I got a few photos here and I absolutely love, love this shot as well. Now a few honorary mentions and what I mean by honorary mentions when it comes to taking a look at what photos I've you know, some of my best photos taken with the Sony APC system is that I, I have some old photos that I don't have anymore simply because I've lost hard drives or the files are lost, which sucks a little bit. So try to do your best and keeping everything. But one of them 
is definitely this one right here. This is a really, really old photo of mine. It's from 2017. And I think it's special because I, I, I was pretty new into photography. And I remember this so much because it was the first time I started to realize the impos impossible, the importance of composition and using foreground and then, you know, having the subject placed. So the subject is this little cliff here. And then like the, the sunset was just amazing. And then I had the camera very low, very, very low. And so we get this little foreground and this is definitely shot on a6300 with probably the 18 to 105 because that was the only lens that I had at the time. And I just loved the, the I, I remember when I got there, I was like so psyched that I, I've just gotten better, <laughs> you know, because previously it wasn't this good. And then another one from the exactly the same place is this shot right here. This is from exactly the same place, just a little bit later, so the sunset is a little bit more. And there was this random hiker there and I, I, I called to him and sort of talked to him and asked if he could like post there. And I thought it turned out pretty good. Now, is there, there are a few other ones that I've, I'm super happy with. Um, this one I've always liked as a street shot. I've just loved the way it's like framed and the light that comes there. This is also probably shot on the 18 to 105 because that was the only lens I had for a long time. And this is also from 2017. And is there anyone, anyone else that we can have in the honorary mentions here? I would probably say this one. This I've, I've planned with my friend uh, Bjarni. I think we shot this also on the 18 to 105. And I ran up here in the, uh, in the hill, asked him to stand there and we had sunset. This is sunset around 2 a.m. or 3, like 15 or something. It's, it's super early, it's, it's winter sunset in Iceland. And I just loved how this photo was framed too. Like seeing the little subject there for scale, seeing this, uh, this waterfall here. The colors, yeah, you know, I, I like it a whole lot. Now these all are probably my favorites. I might miss some, some. I, I, I've taken thousands of photos throughout the years, but all of these have a special place in my heart and some, some of the like photos that I like the whole lot. And like, honestly, this system is great, especially if you're a beginner, then it's still a fantastic, fantastic camera, you know, and you can't, like the size, you see this? Size is just tiny. Now. This is a chill video and uh, there's nothing more to it. If you're still watching, you know you're a total legend. I really appreciate your support. If you could smack that like button for me and it really helps me out. And other than that, I just wanna say thank you for like the support throughout the years. And yeah, catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.